yo you finna take this drive tomorrow and your clothes are gonna be in the store at the end of that drive vlog welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much i'm alicia and yeah it's fun over here we do vlogs we're doing fashion content book content fitness content a little bit of everything so yeah i um, got a new vlog today and i'm going to this writing um i've been doing a writing workshop for like the last three weeks and we're having like a final event today so I'm going to that and I will show y'all a little bit of that and after that I don't really know um yeah after that I don't know but I just wanted to come on and introduce the vlog and yeah I didn't have to pick myself up just to give myself back to you in pieces I decided mm -hmm. that I was worth it more than what you would ever be this is not a poem to put you down it's an homage to show you that though I be full body black woman, I am enough to stand here tall. Though I might sometimes be quiet, if you hear my roar, you will learn to not test me. I have learned that it's in the stillness of how we show up in the morning. It is the way we choose to let the love roll off our tongues. Do you all know what love sounds like? Do you know what it feels like? Do you know how to welcome it into your bones? Do you know how to taste it just a little bit more? Did your grandpa teach you that coffee black is better than anything else if you learn to sip it slowly? Can you sit and digest this space slowly? Are you always in a rush? Does everything need to be sweet enough for you? Mm -hmm. I would beg of you to pause, mm -hmm. to breathe, that it doesn't take a lot of fancy antics. All it takes is presence and perseverance. If you allow yourself to be open, then you will receive. But if you decide that you want to be closed, whose fault is that? I would like to think that even in this room, we all had our share of battles. Even in this room, nervousness seems to pick itself up before we do. You learn to let it introduce your name before you said what your name was. Hi, I'm Victoria. My mother calls me Victory. I didn't quite know why because abuse and rape and everything else met me long before I even had a chance to wield my tongue. But today, I can stand. I can write the words. I can say them. Because writing has been the form. Writing has been the blessing for me. Writing is the communication in which we heal. So I welcome you into this space today. I challenge you to listen to the words that will come out of the mouths of those who have gone through the six weeks and beyond. And I ask you, if you are not ready, please don't be here. But if you are, please be here. Not anywhere else. Choose to be immersed. Choose to be present. Choose to be now. Sounds good? Why is this more than simply writing for you, which clearly it is. The, the writing is nice and okay, but, but you, you're the star on our show. So, tell us, why is this so important to you? Um, why is it okay? First of all, y'all have me in so emotional, and I'm in this skirt of when I can't breathe. <laughs> Stop, okay? <laughs> um, why is this so important to me? Trauma is tactful, right? We think that trauma comes when it wants to, but it doesn't. It has a way of weaving itself into our world over and over again. Um, I grew up and my mother felt that I was mute. A lot of the class knows this, but it was really that I connected with words. It was really that I was oftentimes afraid to allow people to hear what I said. I stand tall in stature. I always have probably since like the fourth grade. 
So I've always been, in an unassuming way, considered aggressive. But if you know me, I'm the kindest person, I believe, that you can be. However, I'm still from Chicago. <laughs> we do not play those games. But I love people fiercely, and writing helped me implement that back into my life. Um, when I went through my divorce, the first thing that my therapist at the time told me and affirmed is, you're a writer, you have to write the words. And I would tell her, I will write a man into a book that he wish he was never into. I know that words can be divisive, but if they can be divisive, that also means that they can be healed. So do we choose to use them not as a weapon, but as wellness for the soul? And so that got me into this. Creating spaces like this honestly came from people telling me no. What you all see today is literally something that's been in my mind. If you look up guided writing or wellness writing, it's not a pop, now it's a popular trend. But someone in my position without a license as a therapist, which people oftentimes think that I am, and I respect those who are. I'm a professional writer, I'm a mentor, right? How do you blend the two words? I blend them with writing. I had kids that I used to deal with in Japan who had suicidal ideation. I would give them journals, tell them they could write with me whatever they wanted to. Because if I can get the words out of you, we can heal the spaces that you keep hiding. I cannot tell your parents what are, what's going on. I cannot help you process if you are too afraid to actually process. So writing for me is processing out loud. Y'all get to see it in the most vulnerable way. But also, my prayers get to see it, my community gets to see it, and so I always want to create spaces like this. It's not the number, it really is the art behind it. And it doesn't always have to be heavy, which is what I tell everybody. Writing can be a form of worship as well as healing. Thank you, thank you. What's up, y'all? <laughs> oh, let me put my toast on. Okay. What's up, y'all? It is Sunday, September 1st. It's been a minute since I've talked to y'all. Um, a lot has happened. So, yeah. Um after the event i did try to film like a little reset thing but it didn't really work out so i'm just gonna continue the vlog but um yeah so after the um writing event it went really nice it was really nice it was overall that whole experience was like very powerful very transformative very just it just it was something i didn't really know i needed and I'm glad I went. I'm glad I participated in it. A very cool event um, hosted by Victoria Johnson. So, yeah. Um, that's all I have to say about that. Um, but anyways, new hair. <laughs> Who this? Period. Um, it is September 1st. Like I said, it's Sunday. I'm about to get ready to go to the gym. It's like 11 o'clock. I kind of had like a slow morning. Um, over the weekend, my family reunion has been going on. So, it's kind of been like hectic, crazy, fun. Um, all of those words. But, yeah. So, I'm about to get my day going. Um, I'm fixing some toast to do my like pre-workout snack or whatever oh no my spot is burnt oh it's stuck oh, okay anyway um i'm about to fix my breakfast Question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, I'm about to eat real quick and then I'm going to go to the gym. Um, I might record in the gym right now. I will talk to y'all at some point though. So. What's up y'all? I'm a blind. It has been a while. Last time I seen y'all was... I think for the... Um, the final event in my writing cohort that I was a part of, not mine, but like the writing cohort I was a part of, that was the last time I seen y'all. Hmm. 
It's all in my face. Um, yeah, that was the last time I seen y'all. So it's been a while. It's been a couple weeks. Um, I am chilling right now. I'm relaxing. I'm a blind. Uh, it is September fifth. I'm emotional. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so emotional right now because I'm just like, I have to update y'all. So much has happened, like so many good things. And we about to get in some more good things, but like, it's all hitting me. Like, I did not want to cry yet. Uh, it's all kind of hitting me right now and i'm trying to like push through it and talk about it real quick before i just fully just give in to the cry because i know i'm gonna cry like i've been crying <laughs> already um but these are good cries so like i said today is um thursday september 5th and yeah it's been a while since i've talked to y'all and in this time period so much has happened um one of the big things i'm sorry if y'all hear the air is hot i'm sitting in the car hello it's like it's still hot baby this is the south um it's still a little warm um yeah so where do i even start let's start with um i was featured in the magazine <laughs> uh i mentioned this before but I could not talk about it at the time because it wasn't out yet. I didn't want to say anything until it was out. But yeah, I was featured in a magazine, a digital magazine called Memphis Voyager. And so I was featured as a part of the um, Inspiring Creative series that they're doing. So yeah, I am in the magazine um, online and I'm just so grateful i'm so honored i've already posted about it so you can um go see my social media i will like link the article and everything about it everything below but i posted about it on my instagram and i have just been sitting with that i knew it was gonna come out like i did the um interview and everything for it prior to it coming out like some weeks and stuff prior and i was just waiting and anticipating when it was gonna come out and it came out last Tuesday on the 27th. And I was just like, so odd, honestly, for it to come out today. Cause I was just like, very like, it's, I'm being in a, on a magazine, in a magazine, even though it's not a big one, it's still a great like accomplishment for me. Um, because it's something that I had listed as a goal for me for a while. It was something I've been re reviewing my goals and like the things that I've been seeking afterwards um, for like the last year, couple years, three years, whatever, however many years. And I went through like my 2023 goals and it was one of my goals to be featured in a magazine. And so when I got the opportunity, it was out of the blue, very unexpected. And I was just like what like i have a little bit of impression be mindful i don't my i just get off work y'all my hair in this cock lip <laughs> let me i can't be a total hot mess um anyways but yeah when they reached out to me um i was just like very surprised very caught off guard and I wasn't expecting it because I really haven't been doing much of anything um, business-wise with my brand or anything like that. I've kind of just been like a little bit off the grid with it. Like I came into this year really strong, really um, high energy, really trying to like push it out and like go pedal to the metal, like just go all in with it. And I kind of ended up backing off because things just were not working out for me in the ways that I wanted to. And it was like completely throwing me off. And I had an idea of like how I wanted things to go. And it just was not going my way. And so I was just like, yeah, we're going to pause on this. Like, I need to get myself together. I need to...
I'm a baby. Oh my gosh. I was like, yeah, I need to get my stuff together. Like, I cannot constantly pour into my business and I'm over here empty. And I do a lot for with my business. For my business, I do a lot. Like, I'm literally... Every single hat, I'm wearing it. Like, I'm wearing every single hat. And so, it's a lot to do. It's a lot to manage. I'm by myself. I really don't have help like that. It's a very much a solopreneur. I'm very much doing it solo. And I've been doing it solo for about six years. Well, over six years now. And it's a lot to do. And so, and I get really like hard on myself and I feel really defeated because I feel like I should be further along in my career. And I feel like I should have a lot more done than what I have accomplished. And I always, and I don't, I don't always feel like I've done enough. So that getting reached out to be featured in this magazine was a very like, what? You got the wrong person. Like it felt like it was very much imposter syndrome. Like I did not feel like I deserved it. I did not feel like I've done enough. But I absolutely have, like, it really made me go back and reflect and look over what I've done. I've done a lot within these six years of me going all in and just doing it. There have been times where I did not have a job. I did not have a steady income or reliable income. And I was just relying on my business and really pushing it through it like it's been a lot it's been a journey and it's not over yet by any means i still have a ways to go but like that was just a reminder like you know somebody see you somebody see you like somebody sees what you are doing somebody sees it and you are very much so deserving of that spot you are very much so deserving of being highlighted and uplifted and being put on a display to this world so they can see like what you are doing like your work is worthy and that was just so affirming for me as somebody who has just been kind of trying to find my way back to myself like I've been on this journey of trying to um, figure out life and really create the life I want to live because for so long I really have not been living a life I wanted to live and that's why I've been doing so many different things and trying new things and just really just you know enjoying myself enjoying life and really just appreciating the things that are in front of me the people that are in front of me the spaces that I'm in and just trying to be more in the moment. So that's kind of why like my vlogs do kind of seem a little choppy. They kind of be here and there because I am trying to make more of an effort to be present. I still want to show things, but I'm living more in the moment more and enjoying like the things that are happening in real time and, and then just being able to reflect them, but still trying to make the effort to document the journey, if that makes sense. So yeah, that um, magazine feature really, it, it came at the right time. It was very unexpected. Came at the right time. It came out at the right time too, cause I didn't expect it to come out that day, but like I needed that that day. I, I needed that to come out on like last week because I was kind of just like feeling really I don't know ish like you know I was feeling kind of just up in the air and that was just like a confirmation of you're doing good like you are straight you you on your way so um that was the first big thing following that up the next day I got an email that I was accepted um, into an atelier and I'm able to be, a, I have been granted the opportunity to have placement in a store. 
So my clothes are gonna be in a store. <laughs> that is the first time. Not the first time I've said it out loud, but like that has been hitting me today. Cause I'm just like, girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, what are you <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about right now? Yeah, so I got an email um, that I was admitted to be, for my brand to be in a store. So, they, I am going tomorrow to um, NWA, Northwest Arkansas. <laughs> um, I'm going to Springdale, Arkansas to put, to drop clothes off to be placed in the store for a purchase and that right there <laughs> that right there yo I that has been hitting me in my chest today I literally have been crying like I cried all last week I promise y'all I cried for like three four days straight because I was just like God like i'm not questioning i'm very very thankful because the things that i've always wanted for myself are happening without me having to do too much like i don't have to do anything but just be myself do what i do show up like and the things are aligning for me. Like, I don't have to, I'm not going out my way. I'm not, you know, I'm not seeking these things out. What, everything that is meant for me is finding me. The Everything good is finding me. And that right there was just confirmation, like, you're on the right track, you're doing good, because I was so confused. Y'all, I thought it was, I thought it was fake. I was like, because... Cause the email it sent me to i never like i rarely ever use that email it's a business email or whatever so i rarely ever use that email so when i got the email i was like how y'all get this email <laughs> and then it was just like this for me like very much this can't be right and i and then it was like saying it like i got accepted like i had applied for it so i was like i don't remember uh, but <laughs> let me tell y'all how god really be doing his thing this opportunity is something i applied for in january of 2024 completely forgot about it wasn't thinking twice about it nothing nothing like that was not even nowhere near in my mind frame in my wave of consciousness in the present time like this was not something i was even thinking about i was i didn't blink twice like lose sleep over there nothing because i just i did it and forgot about it baby but when i tell you about the god i serve <laughs> when i tell you about god the way god will be like it's it's like <sighs> The way that God moves for something that I apply for, it is, it is, it was August then. Basically, it's September. So, something that I apply for at the beginning of the year, God waited to the end of the eighth month. I applied for this opportunity the first month of 2024. God waited to the eighth month and said, you ready? Mind y'all, I just said, like, I have not been sewing. I have not been doing anything. And I was so, like, confused because I'm pretty sure I didn't even go look at what I submitted, what I applied, what I submitted in my application, like, pictures or anything like that. I don't know what clothes I put in there. I have an idea that it was, like, from a collection that I haven't released yet, but I'm just like, I'm not questioning it. I'm like, I'm not finna talk myself out of it because it's like, I'm still prepared for it. I have things I can bring to that. I knew immediately off the top what I, as soon as it kind of like, I digested it and was really just like, 
Oh, you finna like once it started clicking, the wheel started turning. I knew what I was gonna. I didn't even have to breathe and think hard about what I was about to put in this store. Like I didn't worry, but I already knew. Like I, cause it's like I, and it's so crazy because Leisha from six months to a year ago would have looked at this opportunity and said, "I'm not prepared. I have nothing to put up for it." Leisha from six months ago. Leisha from six months. Y'all, and it's just like. Mind you, I got the email on Wednesday. They wanted me to come down that following Friday. I was like, oh, can you drop it off? And I was just like, oh, I'm not local. Like, can I bring it? on this day like i cannot bring it in a week they're like yeah no problem i was already ready for it though i don't need to i don't think i have to do is really just like tag my things put tags on them that's all i have to do it's already ready like i have literally been i have things that's been sitting because like you know they haven't sold or whatever so it's like i have items to be sold and it's so crazy because it's like i would have been been frantic a year six months to a year ago i would have been like i don't have anything and i would have been rushing to try to make something and it's even crazier because i just i had just turned down the opportunity like that I felt was very huge, very big because I had such short notice about it. I had short notice about it. Like I got short, like I literally got notice two weeks before the event was gonna happen. And it was for a show that I had knew about but I I knew about I had already signed up for it. I had already was admitted into it, but it was no communication whatsoever with it leading up to that show until two weeks prior. And I had already decided, yeah, no, I'm not gonna waste my time. Because y'all are not organized. Y'all are not, you know, even giving me the opportunity to be prepared. So just for, for me, just for me to turn that down to get this, it's always bigger and better. It's always so much more. One door closes, 50 million open. Like I'm telling y'all, it is always more on the other side. And I'm just so grateful I am so grateful. I am so thankful. I'm just like, it's really been hitting me today because I was like at work and I was just like, yo, you finna take this drive tomorrow and your clothes are gonna be in the store at the end of that drive. You are taking clothes to be dropped, to, you are doing to drop off clothes to be in a store. No big, no matter how big, how small, how known, whatever. Like, Leisha, your clothes are going to be in a store. <laughs> you have been working so hard, so long for this, like. Professionally, as a business, I'm six years, over six years in. But just as a designer overall, this has been a dream of mine since I was freaking seven years old, y'all. Like, I 
almost 20 years in the making like so when people so I truly understand what he was saying when it's like when people be like oh you're overnight so it's just like no this has been years in the making like I understand those posts so much more now because it's like this is decades of work Decades of work, decades of tears, decades of being frustrated, trying to understand, trying to figure it out, of learning, of building my skill, nurturing my skill, really just giving myself time, not being as graceful with myself as I should have been, but enjoying the process and enjoying the journey. This is decades of work and tomorrow is just the beginning it is just the beginning and i honestly cannot be more grateful and thankful like if you have been on around on my youtube for a while or if you're new I still have videos up from when I did my first fashion show when I launched my brand in 2018 like that video is still up you can go look you can go watch that video and watch part of my journey like I have been documenting my journey for six years and I'm so grateful. I'm just so thankful. Like, my heart is so full because it is so unexpected, but it is so well deserved. Like, I'm not going to be humble about it and be like, I don't deserve it. No, I absolutely do. Like, I deserve it. I deserve this I deserve so much more and I deserve what's to come because I know like this is just a stepping stone for me like this is this is just a stepping stone first it was the magazine now like to be able to to <laughs> To be able to say I was featured in the magazine and my clothes are in the store within less than a month's time. I don't owe nobody anything but God. Like, God gonna hear my praises. He gonna get on my tears. He gonna get my worship. I cannot say thank you enough to God. Because this is not, none of this is my control. I didn't do anything but show up. And so I'm taking y'all on this journey with me um, once again. And we are going to Springdale tomorrow. We got a nice drive. I'm leaving in the morning and um we're going to springdale to drop some clothes off to be in a store so exclusive the label will be in a store as of this weekend I was debating if I was going to even include this in my vlog. I really just needed to vent and get this out. But I'm probably going to put it in here because as much as this is my journey, I know that this could easily fit the description of so many other people, other so many other people's journey and well, no matter what you're doing, no matter where you are in your career your journey in life period like 
please do not give up. Please do not give up. Please do not think that you are not worthy and deserving of the desires of your heart because you are so worthy and deserving of those things. And what is meant for you will find you. You will not have to think it out. It will find you. Trust me, coming from me, it will find you. And it will find you in the moments that you least expect it. It will find you in the moments when you least expect it. It will be knocking on your door in the middle of the night. It will be calling your phone at the randomness of hour. Please keep going. Keep going. Because... I promise there is light at the end of the tunnel. So you you gotta keep going. You gotta show up. If you don't show up for nobody else, please show up for yourself. So that is it. I'm about to cry for real. So I will see y'all um later on. I will give y'all a little bit behind the scenes of me um, prepping the clothes to be packed. And yeah. What's up y'all? It is the next morning and I am uh, loading up to go take my clothes to be in a store. <laughs> Geeking, but um, yeah, I'm loading up. I finished like packing and stuff, everything. Last night, um, all my clothes and stuff, except for my actual clothes that I needed to wear. So I did that this morning and now I am ready to go. Got everything in a box right here. I have uh, three jackets. I have these like bags um, that I've been like having for a while and some tissue paper and just all my little things that I have so I can make sure it has the exclusive experience. Okay. And yeah, so I got like a one of one jacket in here. Um, some other like jackets from previous collections. These, oh, let me see. I have three hoodies from my archive collection um, that I did like years ago. So I'm really excited. I'm really, it hit me yesterday, but I think it's gonna hit me for real when I get there. So I'm like, I'm just anxious to get there. I'm really anxious for the weekend. Um, outside of taking these clothes to the store, I don't have anything planned for real. I'm going to be staying with family, so I'm going to pretty much be kicking it with them, hanging out with them, um, and meeting some friends and whatnot, but, like, really don't have any solid type of plans. I, every time I go to the area, like, I, I'm always going for, like, a business, work-related thing, and I never get the time to really just sit and enjoy and hang out with my family and, like, really just and like be in the moment with my family and my folks and kind of just like be encapsulated by the area and the atmosphere. I'm always just on a move going, 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 going. And this time I get to really take a break and just breathe and like soak it all in. So I'm excited about that. And I'm just excited for everything, honestly. And yeah, so not gonna waste a lot of time because I also need to like declutter <laughs> this um footage, this camp, this SD card. So I have that. I took my, I'm taking my laptop and stuff so I can do some editing, but I don't know how much I'm actually get done. I really just, like I said, want to like be in the moment and hang out with my family. So yeah, we shall see um where the road takes us, but I'm gonna go in the meantime. And yeah, let's go. Okay, y'all, I made it to, I'm in Fayetteville right now, actually. And I'm, I stopped at a Hobby Lobby because I needed to get a tagging gun. Um, I don't know where mine was and it was really stressing me out that I could not find it last night. So, 
I just bought one um, and I'm about to put these tags on the clothes real quick and then I'm gonna head to Springdale to go to the actual store um, it is 257 I made it here in good time I told them I'll be here around 3 so I'm like 16 minutes away from where I need to be so I'm just gonna go ahead and tag these um, real quick and then hit Springdale Okay, y'all, first of all, I'm excited. Um, I just dropped my stuff off and I showed y'all a little bit of what the store looks like right now. I have not been here at this location because they have, they've grown so much since like the last time I worked with Inform and um, they've got like different locations and stuff now so everything is split up so the last time i was here the actual store that i was in was it was where we walked out to do our fashion show like the fashion show that i was in um and that was in 2021 so crazy how much things can change in the span of like three years um so yeah but I'm excited, um, just gotta finalize like the business side of that and everything, um, but besides that, I'm super excited, like I'm super excited, super grateful and thankful. I wanna post, but I cannot post anything yet cause I haven't, I don't have pictures of anything. They're still setting stuff up. Um, they're gonna like just do their thing and i'm so grateful to be a part of it it's the potential that this could be more than a one-time thing for me so i'm really excited really just like happy um oh hair everywhere jesus christ okay and then after i left out of there um i walked i was like walking back to my car and I was passing this art gallery and I saw like jewelry and stuff in the window which kind of what drew me in so I got in and it's such an amazing gallery and it's so dope to see because I've never been to an actual like gallery I've always been to museums and um like you can buy the things off the wall in a gallery and it's just so dope they have like the guy that I was talking to had like 20, he said they have 20 different artists that's like local to the area or in Arkansas in general. And yeah, and I bought a print. I don't know why my voice cracked like that. It looks so dope. It's by, um, the artist's name is Daniel Howell. And I love this. I was really debating on it, but I want to collect art so this is like my first glimpse of that and yeah but I'm about to go get some food right now I also got glasses out the store too I was looking around and I was like oh, hold on I saw these they're dirty but ooh, it's giving it <laughs> bugs off you um but yeah so i got these these are really cool and like funky and i when i was in the store they was telling me about um uh some more events and stuff that's going on this weekend which is cool because i don't really have solid plans for real like i told y'all i'm just only i only came to drop stuff off and just hang out with my family but they have like little events and things going on um they were telling me about a party that was going on tonight i'm <laughs> big mama not going um <laughs> i think i'm in the bed <laughs> but uh probably not but I'm, I'm not coming out here though and um i'm gonna i'm gonna go to the makers event though it's like like tell me the time and everything it's at the library so yeah i'm excited about that uh, other than that i'm about to meet a friend for lunch because i'm hungry um i ain't ate since breakfast y'all so I'm about to do that. Well, not, this is like early dinner. Mm. And then I'm gonna go to my cousin's house where I'm staying. And yeah, we'll see where we go after that.
my life can change for the better in so many ways today. You probably like, girl, what are you talking about? Okay, so I'm a fashion designer. Hi, my brand is exclusive to the label. Yeah, that's me. And I had an opportunity to take some clothes to be placed into a store. So that is what I'm doing in this video. I'm so excited. Everything is packed and ready to go. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it took me a little drive to get there, but it is in the store called Atelier by Inform, and yeah, it is in Springdale, Arkansas. Uh, if you're familiar with the Arkansas Razorbacks, Fayetteville, Arkansas, yeah, that area, baby. So they sent me this video once they set everything up, and you see, you walk in, you see my jacket on the mannequin, y'all almost passed out. And then we go into my little area. It's not a lot, but it is enough. This is so, so huge for me. I have like... 10 to 15 pieces in there all from different collections i am so excited everything that you are seeing is something that i made by my hands okay by myself y'all i designed it produced it all that so to see it in a store my jacket yo that is leather faux leather and burlap y'all it took me so long to do and it is sitting here on this mannequin looking all nice ah! we both still young, so what's the rush? Tonight is fun and we're not talking